Well, good afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies. You know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great Thirsty Thursday. Man, this week is going by so fast. We are sitting here right now only 49 days, 49 days to the kickoff of the NFL season, and I couldn't be happier. I literally could not be happier about that. And, you know, it's funny because we're getting the last crazy talk and everything else and the talking heads and things and so on. Here's the thing that kind of drives me crazy. You know, we, we all know that, like, traditional media is kind of dying, that sports talk on television is evolving and changing. PTI was the show that launched a thousand ships. Tony Kornheiser, Michael Wilbon, two guys having a discussion, legitimate discussions. But what you've seen it evolved into is a lot of fake drama and so on, where it literally is like a Jerry Springer show, reality show. Um, and it's just kind of bullshit. And they feed you narratives that don't necessarily make any sense. And it's kind of like if you've ever taken statistics in college, okay, I took statistics, stats, between mean, median, mode, and modulation, you can prove different things, opposite things, by the type of um, formulas that you use on it. And they will cherry pick statistics. They'll say, well, Dak Prescott, he's got a losing record in the playoffs. Well, there's only two guys right now that have a winning record in the playoffs. Lamar Jackson is two and four. He only has one less loss than Dak Prescott. Uh, I believe Jalen Hurts is two and three. Right? I believe Trevor Lawrence is one and one, which is actually one of the better records because it's at 500. Justin Herbert's 0 and 1. So, you know, but you think when they say something like that about Dak Prescott that it's, you know, he's the only one that everybody else out there is so far away better than him, that he's the only one with these problems. So this is one of those cases where it should really piss you off because the way they bring this at it, if you look at Fox Sports Radio, okay, which has got 216,000 subscribers, they have Chris Bouchard and Rob Parker's radio show, and they have a clip from their show, yesterday okay and on it the title says rob parker says dallas should listen to charles haley and trade dak prescott i'm like did they actually listen to what charles haley said because if you listen to it he's yes he said well, go ahead. Just trade Jack Prescott. First of all, first of all, I'm listening to these guys, and a couple of things stand out. A, they didn't know how many Super Bowls he won with the Dallas Cowboys. Two, they don't know that Dak Prescott has a no trade clause. Three, when you listen to him, he said, if you try and trade Dak, that every team in the league would line up to get him. He's like, if you listen to this, Charles was not advocating trading Dak Prescott. Just the opposite. He's like, you can't. He's like, you know, Joe Montana or Jerry Rice. You know, you can't trade those guys. You have to have them. Let, just hear me. Let's just listen to these guys for a minute. Stories in the NFL revolves around Dak Prescott. And uh, he's looking to become the highest paid quarterback or player in NFL history. And the Dallas Cowboys right now, so far, have not ponied up that money. And Dak's content if he has to play on, you know, the last year of this deal. He's fine with it, knowing that if the Cowboys don't give it to him, somebody else likely will. They will. So um, this is going to be interesting to see how this goes. Of course, the Cowboys have a history of, you know, Playing, trying, at least appearing to play hardball with some players, but at the end of the day, they generally cave and give the player what he wants. 
But Charles Haley, uh, who won Super Bowls, uh, was it Super Bowls or Super Bowls? He won two with San Francisco, with three with Dallas. But, you know, uh, I think most of his were right with the He 49ers. won with the Niners. Yeah. yeah, he's a Hall of Famer. Uh, he, but he, he, he won. Okay, so here's the other part here. I'm going to stop this for just a second here. And see, this is where I talk about the problem with traditional media is they have to cover so much. They're like a general practitioner, okay? Your family doctor. You go in, you know, if you got a cold and stuff, they handle that. They're going to check your blood pressure and, you know, they, can, they understand what your lungs should sound like and things like that. But if you have a problem with, say, you know, your elbow, you got, you know, uh, a problem with, you know, a bursitis or you have, a, a, you know, a Tommy John's or something like that, you're going to go see an orthopedist. Somebody who specializes in just what you want. Because here it is, y'all are on the air talking about the Cowboys, and you literally say that most of his Super Bowls were won in San Francisco. You don't know. You have general knowledge of everything, but you don't really understand. Charles had three with the Cowboys, two with San Francisco. But go on. One so me won five Super Bowls. Right. I knew he won a I, ton. I can't so tell he won, you how many with each team. Man. He won three with San Francisco and two with Dallas. I mean, that's, 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 that was, was a factor, to say the least. <laughs> and um, anyway, he came out. Now, do we have sound to this guy? <laughs> he Where won he, three he with San Francisco. They should, in his opinion, the uh, Cowboys should go ahead and trade Dak Prescott. Um let me see if I can find. Uh, I don't. I, it sounds like we don't have sound of it. We don't have sound. Of uh, it. Maybe it was just some. We do have it. All right, here we go. He kept backloading everything, so now he's screwed. So now he, you know, it, you know, his bill came due, and he doesn't have the money to be able to do that. And so what he's gonna have to do is he's gonna have to find another way around the salary cap or push a lot of the older guys' salary cap way back mm -hmm. and then you don't know whether these guys gonna play one year or two years and then all of it come due again mm -hmm. so he played he gambled a long time and now the time is up so i can tell you this trade that just put him up for the trade guess what every team in the league be after him. yeah every team in the league dak is a winner dak is a great person a great leader i know him i go up there all the time um cd lamb quiet guy leader he wants the ball. Here, Jerry Rice, just give it to me. I want. Yeah. It. And um, so, how do you do, how do you not keep those guys together? Okay. Understand what Charles said there. Shout out to JMU Dukes. How do you not keep them together? He's not advocating for you to trade Dak. He's literally telling you. If you were to trade him, everybody out there would look and say, I need that guy. Same thing with C.D. Lamb. You know, he's like Jerry Rice. How do you not keep those guys? Now, they've got it in their title. Rob Parker says Dallas should listen to Charles Haley and trade Dak Prescott. This is the same people that are saying that San Francisco, he got three Super Bowls with them and two with Dallas. But let's listen a little longer. Well, it's interesting, Rob. I mean, the way he talked about Dak, it was like, I don't want to trade that guy. But uh, Thank where you. are you at on this? Do you, you think he, they should go ahead and trade him? I mean, I, I trade him for who and what. And, I, I mean, it's just too much. I That's... think, Rob, it would just be – it would be basically draft picks. You know what I mean? Kind of starting all over at that position. I, I, That's I, I, don't, I, don't, I, I don't know how they're starting all over. It, none of it makes any sense because – You I guys don't that. make any sense. <laughs> At some, you got to make a decision. You can't keep prolonging it. It's like we talk about it all the time, Chris. The price doesn't go down. Like, like right. you got to make a decision. Is he your guy? Or is he not? And just you have to bite the bullet. All right, you uh, have to pay. You Tim pay Hargrave up. just became a channel uh, member. Uh, Shout out to you, to Tim. A premium. So many teams that don't have any. Like I don't, I don't know. Uh, if you really don't believe he's that guy, and he's going to get you to the Super Bowl, then move on. Just, just move on. As hard. All right, so let's go back to this for a second here because, again, the general practitioners that are Fox uh, Sports Radio don't understand that he has a no-trade clause. 
Now, I know that you say, well, if you go to DAC, you know, you say, hey, we're going to trade you to where you want to go. It's like, you know what? Why would I want you to get a couple of number ones from the team that I'm going to try and go to and handicap them when I can just stay here, collect my money for this season, and if that's the team I want to go to, go there and they keep their draft compensation, which puts me in a better position. Why am I going to do you a favor when you didn't do me any? Even Derek Carr recognized that one. So, yes, this is where you realize how much of the bullshit that you actually get from a lot of the traditional sports media hosts. And this is why people are beginning to get fed up with the bullshit. And that's what you're getting. That's truly bullshit. Or it's ignorance. I don't know which one, but when you say Charles Haley said trade Dak Prescott that you should listen, the way you're making that come off is Charles Haley said trade Dak, and that's not what he said. All right, good people, we're going to continue to bring the truth to you guys as we get ready for training camp, where we'll be talking about. Because we sitting here, I supposed to be the franchise player, and we're in here talking about practice. Not the game. I mean, it, listen, we're game. talking about practice. practice. Not a game, not a game, not a game. We talking about practice, not a game, not a, not a, not the game that I go out there and, and 